Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm back today with a quick jailbreak update video. But before we get into things, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Check out the first link below for more details. Now, as you guys know, I have been pretty busy with things going on in my personal life, but I do have some exciting news that new videos are on their way. With that being said, it might finally be time to start expanding channel content. Jailbreaking will always have a place here on the channel, but with the decline in jailbreak releases and, well, interest in jailbreaking, I would love to focus my energy on something you all enjoy watching. Now, before we get into all of that, we'll come back to it later in this video, but for now, let's stick to what we know. I first wanted to touch base on the latest jailbreak news. There isn't much, but that's okay. We have some other exciting things happening in the world of Apple in the next few weeks. So I didn't really want to drag this video out with, you know, discussing all of the latest vulnerabilities found or, you know, new iOS releases. I mainly wanted to focus on the two most exciting things that you guys should know. First and foremost, the iOS 15 jailbreak. This is the longest in history that we've waited for a jailbreak for the latest iOS. I mean, even iOS 10 kind of had that, you know, half jailbreak where it only worked for certain devices on a limited number of firmwares. There is just no jailbreak out yet, um, obviously. The silver lining is that we could see Coolstar release their jailbreak uh, after the Typhoon conference in June. I think that's happening the 23rd or 24th. Now with the latest update, this just came out this last Thursday, uh, Coolstar gave an update on their Discord, it says just popping in real quick to give a status update on iOS 15 to 15.1.1. The long story short, it sounds like it's close, but they basically confirmed this will be the last jailbreak they will be working on, and more so that they're still working on it. So. That is exciting news right there. We'll get into more of it later in this video. So in this video, we'll dive into those topics. I first want to let you know about our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace gives you a powerful and beautiful online platform to create your own unique website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated member-only content. You can manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights all in one easy to use platform. Create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. Use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. Display posts from your social profiles directly on your website. Automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so your followers can share it too. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash I-C-R-A-C-K to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So jumping back into today's video, you know, one of the things uh, I commonly get asked or just, you know, think about is if, you know, jailbreaking is dead or dying and you know I don't think it will ever die out completely but wow it for sure has taken a major hit this year you know still I enjoy making these videos especially when a jailbreak comes out and there are new things to explore new tweaks coming out I mean it's exciting to see things that have never been done on an iOS device before be done and have it all be community based it's a really fun time uh, when it's in its, you know, expansionary phase, if you say it that way. Um, you know, a big thing is, like, if Apple ever changes or is forced to change their decision on sideloading, you know, I think that will be a great segue into new content we can focus on with this channel because sideloading is, in my opinion, gaining popularity. So as far as jailbreak things go, the silver lining, like I was saying before, is that we could see Coolstar release their jailbreak after the Typhoon Conference in June. I think it's happening the 23rd or 24th. Uh, they're presenting with Timstar. And if the jailbreak comes out that day, this is the other crazy fact, 
it will be a total of 241 days between when iOS 15 was released to the public and when it's first jailbroken. That is an all-time record. So a few details on this. Uh, Coolstar is presenting jailbreaking in the post-apocalyptic era at this conference. And it's uh, rumored that they'll be presenting their new jailbreak and releasing it shortly after the conference, uh, right around that time frame as well. So uh, it's good, cool we have a potential jailbreak release date in the near future. At the same time, this means the first iOS 15 jailbreak won't be released until iOS 16 is already in beta stages. Typically in years past, once new betas are out, uh, the jailbreaking focus goes towards the next iteration of iOS. That being said, Coolstar noted they will no longer be making jailbreaks after iOS 15, so, you know, we could see like an, a last hurrah and going out on a high note with the iOS 15 jailbreak this year. Along with moving on in their personal life, uh, it just sounds like there's a ton of new mitigations in place to jailbreak after iOS 15.1.1, so 15.2 and above, that just makes things harder and more time consuming. And uh, at the same time, you know, the other major modern jailbreak developer, Pwned Own, has not been active in the community really recently at all. Uh, that is not uncommon, but it's just, it's unfortunate, I guess. He's either planning something big or, you know, he may also be moving on from the community as well. Time will tell, I guess, there. While we're definitely in a lull here, iOS 15 or the iOS 16 jailbreak could in fact be enough to spark interest once again. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you real soon to cover iOS 16 beta stuff. And uh, you know, that's, that's exciting. So anyhow, take care for now and I'll catch you in the next one. Now, like I said earlier in this video, Coolstar just updated everyone uh, via a Discord message letting the community know they're still working on the iOS 15 to 15.1.1 jailbreak. They say, we may have an idea for defeating AMFI on iOS 15.1. If you're on the compatible firmwares, we hope to have something ready soon. Do note, this will most likely be the last jailbreak for A12+, plus, as anything for iOS 15.2 and up is extremely unlikely. Anyways, here's to the last jailbreak but we will target getting iOS 15.1.1 done. So basically, they are stating essentially kind of the same thing that I was stating, um, even in this last little message at the bottom for iOS 15.2 and up, hopefully the EU laws cracking down on Apple will open iOS up more without needing to jailbreak. Yeah, that is the latest news. The jailbreak is still being worked on. But uh, this may, in fact, be the last iOS 15 jailbreak that we see, um, and maybe the last jailbreak for some of the newer devices that we receive for quite some time. So with that being the case, uh, here is indeed to the last jailbreak. Hopefully there is more to come in the future. Hopefully uh, things turn around for the better as far as sideloading and things like that goes. But for now... Uh, this is where we are at, guys. Um, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Now, uh, aside from jailbreaking, in just a few weeks, on Monday, June 6th, Apple will be holding their annual developer conference, which, uh, you know, at that, they'll be releasing the first iOS 16 beta to the public. Now, from years past, we've covered beta install and uninstall videos, even, you know, new uh, features of iOS, the new iOS version. And uh, we're going to be doing a mix of that this year again. With that being said, if you're looking at jailbreak, obviously don't plan on installing the beta as you'll only be able to downgrade to a signed version of iOS 15. Like, you know, iOS 15.5 was just released. And so it might have to be that, which probably will not see a jailbreak in the near future anytime soon. You know, the rule of thumb is to always stay on the lowest possible version of iOS if you want to jailbreak until we know more. And a few things we can do while we wait is one, update alt store on your computer so you're ready to sideload the jailbreak app when it's out. This year's jailbreak will work just like years past where you sideload an app onto your phone, open that app and press jailbreak, probably run through it twice and uh, to get like a package manager installed on it then. And then every time after you reboot, you will have to open that app and re-jailbreak once more. 
The other thing we can do while we wait is save your blobs with Blob Saver. You don't even need to be jailbroken anymore to do this, and it's a fantastic application. While I probably won't be covering blob install videos, you know, there are a lot of resources on Google and on YouTube to use those. So, you know, if that if this is a hobby to you, then that's something you can do ahead of time to have a better chance at updating or installing the latest version of iOS that can be jailbroken when a new jailbreak comes out. But yeah, that's that's the major updates I have for you. It's been a pretty tough year uh, dealing with this iPhone 13 in particular because I waited too long and I have been on iOS 15.1.1 beta now uh, since that came out. Uh, well over like five or six months dealing with this god-awful beta prompt. So I'm looking forward to jailbreak. Um, at the same time, I'm also really excited to check out the iOS 16 beta, and I'm debating on just updating my main device. I have a secondary one on iOS 15.1 uh, to do jailbreak coverage with, but the more I was thinking about it, I'm like, I don't even know how many tweaks I would actually use on a daily basis that improve the iPhone experience at this point. You know, most of them, I, I look at it, I'm like, oh, this is cool, you can do it, but is it necessary? It's fun to play around, but at least, you know, years pass when I do like tweak videos and things like that. You know, I go all out covering like 50 or 100 tweaks. And the reason why I do that is one, just to see what you can do. A lot of the tweaks I don't even know about until, you know, I see, and until I do the research to see what's out there. And I think that's kind of the big stopgap is there's so many bad tweaks out there. Um, and there's so many interesting ones that come out typically, but do I use every single one that I report on on my daily driver? Probably not. Typically I use around like 20 to 30, but boy, it's every year, you know, iOS is just getting better and better, releasing more and more features, making jailbreaking less, uh, I don't want to say relevant, but less impactful. And so it will be a hard decision this year whether I wait out and try to stay on iOS 15.1 for the jailbreak or if I check out the new beta when iOS 16 is out. I guess we'll have to see what is uh, what, what comes in iOS 16 this year to really make that decision. Anyhow, on that note, while jailbreaking will always remain special to us here on the channel, you know, it may be time for us to focus our efforts elsewhere. I'm curious what you all think. Um, instead of just throwing, you know, darts blindly at the wall, is there anything else you would like to see us talk about or cover? Or should we stick primarily to jailbreaking and beta installs? All hope is not lost for now as far as jailbreaking goes. While we're definitely in a lull here, iOS 15 or the iOS 16 jailbreak could in fact be enough to spark interest once again. Anyhow, take care for now and I'll catch you in the next one.